Are you stuck? We are. We share our tips for sheltering in place next. Welcome to the channel. I'm Paul. This is Liz. These are exciting times to, to build. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I we can't have, get the words out. Because we have mushy brains. We are stagnant because we are staying in place. How long have we been here? 70 days. Yeah, so we definitely feel challenged to live amazing. We can't even remember what we normally say. <laughs> yeah, it's getting tough. Yeah, we typically move every two to three weeks. Paul and I have been on the road for a year and a half. And the reason why we chose the RV life was so that we could do what? So that we could travel. <laughs> right. yeah, that's the whole purpose of this lifestyle is to see different places and, and you know, not spend a lot of time in one place. In fact, I was finding that when I first started out, I would go for three week stays at each park that I was at. And I found about three or four months in that I was ready to leave at about the two and a half week point. So I backed it down to a two week stays per park and that seemed to work better. But yeah, like I said, we've been here for 70. And, oh my and... gosh. So we're sheltering in place. We're actually not allowed to move. We could leave, but we can't go back. And all the campgrounds in the state we're in, we're in California are closed for at least another week or two. We're trying to get to Oregon. That's closed until June 1. And originally they were closed until May and then May 15. And so we, we think that, you know, we love the RV life, but we love the travel part of it. We find that energizes us to have all these new places to go. We feel like if we're stuck, you probably are too. Maybe you are, sitting at home with a camper, maybe even a brand new camper in your driveway and you can't take it anywhere because the campgrounds are closed or in your state, they're saying no travel. So, so we feel your pain. And so we have some, we have some tips for you. Yeah. So let's get into them. Tip number one is use this time to your advantage. Think of all those tasks you've been putting off. Well, now's your chance to do those extra things that you've been wanting to do on your rig, such as... Yeah, wax a rig. That that's a good one. I mean, that'll take that'll take you at least a day. In fact, when I did mine the last time, I did it over a period of three days. I would do a small section, and uh, then go in and have a beer and and uh, think about the next section I was going to do tomorrow. Right. Or go in and reorganize your rig. Maybe you've got some things that you've got to clean out or clean the interior. Yeah. Maybe there's a, a repair that you've been wanting to get to. Maybe. Uh, Maybe you're real energetic and you wanted to pull the wheels off and pack the wheel bearings or check the brakes. Those type of jobs that, that are that are more than a couple of hours. Because you think you're ready for camping? Well, after doing these tasks, now you'll really be ready. Tip number two would be to set up camp in your driveway or in your backyard. That's right. There's a lot of fun things you can do. You can build a fire if it's allowed in your neighborhood. You can what, cook some s'mores. Yeah, make some s'mores. Tip number three is focus on your plans. You will get to travel someday, and even though it's been for you a moving target, I assume, because that's how it's been for us. First, we thought we'd be traveling in March, and then we thought April or May. Now, it may not be until June, but know that your travel will happen, and anticipation is half of the fun, right? So really dig down deep and think about what you want to do once you're traveling. Maybe do some more research and plan so that when you do go, that you'll make the most of it. Do you want to stay on top of your plans because when the parks reopen, they're going to fill up fast. So what we've been doing is we've been, even though our dates are changing, we keep making reservations. They get canceled. We go back to the calendar. We look, we make phone calls. We keep a schedule, an active schedule going so that we will have a place to, to go to when, when it finally opens. The next tip is to have fun wherever you are. We do that by riding our bikes, playing games. We, we have um, dominoes. We play dominoes every night, almost every night. Uh, Yahtzee once in a while. We listen to audiobooks. We go on walks. What else do we do? <laughs> we run, although I wouldn't call it running anymore. <laughs> Jogging. 
turtling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting slower and slower and, and less and less frequent with that. <laughs> On that note, it's totally okay to be gentle with yourself and kind of let go of some of those routines like we have with the jogging. I think now is a really good time to let yourself sleep in, to eat that ice cream, to just relax and take care of yourself in what can be a really stressful time. In fact, it is a really stressful time for most of us. It really is. I mean, we have certainly noticed that. I just want to share that I had a coughing fit a couple days ago and I got freaked out and I started working on my uh, beneficiary stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah it scared both of us. Just definitely be kind to yourself. Be in a place of gratitude. We are so fortunate for what we have and I'm sure that you too can count your blessings. We're grateful for the frontline workers, the essential workers, the people that are out there working in hospitals working in the grocery stores. We know in the big picture that we have it good. We don't want to sound like we're complaining because we're stuck in a place for 70 days. We know in the big picture, even though we're not traveling right now, we really do have a good life. Yeah, we do. I mean, thank you to all the first responders out there and the essential workers. I mean, you guys and gals are doing just... You're our heroes. You're, you're the heroes of this, of this whole pandemic mess that we're that we're and, all and everybody the people driving the ups truck you know the people delivering the mail we are so grateful for you 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 really are our, our heroes out there on the front line and then i'll say if you like this video you'll love the next one and you'll say see you in the next video ready so you're going to say what are your tips for sheltering in place let us know in the comments if you like this video you'll love the next one see you see in the next video, video. <laughs>